Hi guys, Adam from Midwest Panel Builders, and today I'm excited to show you our new version of the IntelliKey system. So here I've got the third version of our IntelliKey system that we're calling NGR, which means uh, next generation with recording. We're also going to have a unit in the future that's just NG without the recording. Um, the recording is the VoiceBox Plus system from MicroKit Solutions. Uh, that system will data log avionics like the G3X Touch and will also record your voice uh, and intercom uh, audio for 40 hours each. Uh, and then all that can be downloaded over Wi-Fi. In fact, all the settings of this device can be done on Wi-Fi uh, using your iPhone, iPad, or Android equivalents. Uh, so let's get into some of the uh, features of this system, and then uh, we'll have a quick demo over at our display booth. So the IntelliKey portion of the system builds upon the previous two versions that we've had. Um, version 1 we came out with several years ago, um, and then we iterated on it with the version 2, which at that point in time, um, there weren't really any new features, but it just kind of made everything better. Um, some of those features included uh, the proximity key, where when you walk up to the aircraft, the courtesy lighting turns on, um, and then when you turn on your master, then you can start your engine if the key fob is present. Um, so we have obviously that same functionality in here, but we've built upon it. Uh, we've added a low battery detection system so that the unit will stop looking for a key if your aircraft battery gets too low so it doesn't kill it. Not that this draws a lot of current anyways. Uh, we also added to it the ability to modify uh, the courtesy light timers. Uh, before that was fixed at 10 minutes. Now you can set it anywhere from 5 minutes to an hour. Uh, additionally, we have uh, a little bit better pilot feedback, and uh, again, we'll show that to you uh, at the display booth, but you have a better way to know what's happening with the system, um, you know, just by looking at the uh, LEDs. And then also, uh, with the Wi-Fi integration, now to bypass the IntelliKey system, uh, let's say you forgot your key fob or the battery died, is easier than ever. Uh, you just log into this unit with your phone or tablet, and you can type in a pin and it will uh, authorize the engine start for you for as long as the master stays on. Uh, so let's then talk about some of the recording features. So the data logging with uh, your avionics, namely right now the G3X, means that uh, while the G3X does record to an SD card, you can actually record it to this directly and then now when you want to download those recordings, you don't have to remove the SD card from the display and take it to a computer. Everything can be done through here in Wi-Fi, and again, you can download it directly to your phone or tablet and then do whatever it is you want to do with that. Uh, the nice thing also about that is all those recordings are formatted in a similar way uh, to the way that the Garmin file is so that you have uh, commonali commonality excuse me, with other apps like uh, the Savvy Engine Analysis Program and all that. Uh, the voice recording is nice for things like um, maybe you do flight vlogs or maybe you just like to have the recordings that say that there's an incident uh, and you wanted to have your voice recordings. Everything that you can hear in the pilot position on the intercom will be recorded by this, for better or for worse. So, uh, and again, that's 40 hours and also, um, you know, you download it the same way that you download your uh, G3X data all through Wi-Fi. And everything's saved in file formats that pretty much every device under the sun can play, at least, you know, more modern ones. With the new system comes new key fobs. What's really nice about these key fobs is now we have the ability to remotely add or remove these. Um, with you. So with our old systems, you had two key fobs that came with it and that was it. And if you lost them um, or broke them, then you have to replace the IntelliKey module with the fobs. Now these are programmable. So when you get this system, you're going to get one key fob uh, already pre-programmed with it and you can add as many as you want additional. Uh, so that's great for aircraft that have multiple owners, maybe like a club membership or something like that. You can install this in those aircraft, every club member gets their own key, and now you don't have to worry about hiding them you know, in the hangar somewhere or anything like that. Um, everybody has one. And then if you want to ever add more, um, when we sell you those additional keys, we also provide with them a file that you upload right to this from that wi same Wi-Fi interface. And then if you ever want to deauthorize keys, like for example, uh, we'll use the club example again, where uh, maybe a member sells out, um, then you can just deauthorize their key without it being present, and now that key will no longer start the aircraft. Uh, so this is what that key looks like. 
Uh, it's just uh, pretty simple, a little rectangular. And then like our uh, second version of the IntelliKey, you can turn these on and off uh, with the button on there. And then um, you can, you know, if you're showing your plane, you can turn the key fob off. And actually, we'll show you, uh, you can disable the system directly from IntelliKey as well. Um, again, we call that air show mode. So if you're, if you're showing somebody your aircraft, they don't accidentally hit the start button um, and, and spin the prop with you present with your key. These new IntelliKey systems are going to be sold to every experimental aircraft owner that wants one. And we're also looking to get these North Sea approved. Uh, we're in that process right now. So hopefully uh, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to uh, start pushing these out to certified customers as well. Um, if you are a customer that's going to get these for retrofit into your aircraft, they'll come with a wiring harness and everything you need to get it installed. With all that being said, let's go over to our display booth and give you a quick demo of some of the features of this unit. All right, so here at the display booth right now, uh, I have the key disabled uh, so that it's not detecting it. So let's turn the key on and then uh, watch what happens here. So the key just beeped and then now the system has detected it and you can see that the courtesy light has turned on. Now when I turn on the master, the engine start light is going to start blinking red and then it's going to connect to the key and then once it connects to it, it'll turn green and it just did that. And now if I push the start button, you can see that the propeller turns up there. So what's happening here is it's connecting to the key to authenticate it. So we have an extra layer of security there than what we used to have to make sure that this is in fact an authorized key for that aircraft. Now some installations, maybe you don't have this button. Uh, so what we can do with that is those light outputs that we use to control the button, you can instead put LEDs on the instrument panel or you can hook it up to your avionics discrete inputs uh, if you have any available and if they'll work for that. Um, we can go ahead and demonstrate some of the internal features of the unit. Uh, so we'll connect to the IntelliKey system by finding its Wi-Fi network, uh, using the default password IntelliKey, and then going to its uh, Wi-Fi page. Uh, the IP address is in our installation documentation so that you don't have to uh, go to this video for that. Okay, so here we are on my iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it. So you can see I've got iKey underscore and then the serial number. So I'll just tap on it. The password is IntelliKey, all lowercase. We'll hit join. Okay, so now we're connected. You can see it says no internet connection in orange and that's normal. Uh, so we'll come over to Safari here and we'll type in our uh, IP address, which is 192.168.10.1. You can see I've obviously connected to that before. And here we are met with the user interface. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is at least on iOS devices, hit this little share icon at the bottom middle and look for the button that says add to home screen. You can see it automatically, oh, if this comes up, just hit use cellular data, you'll be fine there. Uh, with the home screen, you can see it automatically names it IntelliKey, gives a nice little logo on there. You can just hit add and then I already had one, so there's my second one right next to it on my home screen. And then if you just tap on it, it comes right to that page. So you don't have to remember that number anymore. So the first thing we have is IntelliKey settings. Uh, here's the mode. Um, so the, we have three different modes, normal, uh, pin only, and that's what the air show mode was that I was talking about. So you have to use your pin on here to enable the system. And then we have disabled or maintenance mode, which means that as soon as the master turns on, the engine will start. Um, I'll actually show you pin only mode in just a little bit. So I'll set it to that. If we go to um, scanner options, these are actually uh, settings that we don't typically use. Um, so if you find yourself in here for a reason, um, give us a call so that we can help you through that. Um, lights options, this is where we can turn on and off the courtesy light. We can set the timer for ingress and egress. And then status lights, that was the blinking red light and the green light on the button that I was showing you. Go back. Pin options, here is where you can change your pin. If you forget your pin, uh, give us a call and we can run you through a process where we will help you reset your pin over the phone. Uh, we have battery options here. So this is where we can uh, set the low voltage cutoff. So we have 12 or 24 volt options and then we have the voltage range in which we want it to cut off. You can see that we have 12.9 in there right now. The reason why that's so high is because lithium batteries will actually have a fully charged voltage in the 13s. So we have lead acid and lithium covered here. Um, and what will happen is if your voltage drops below this value, the system will stop looking for key tags 
uh, until you turn on the master, then it'll connect to it for the engine start. Uh, finally, we have manage tags, and this is where we can delete the ones that are already programmed to the system, or the upload tags file is how you add more, and this file is what we will provide to you with any additional tags that you purchase. Going back and back again, we have the recording configuration items here. So this is where we can set up audio recording, which really it's just download a file or delete all of your options, or delete all of your audio rather. Under the data tab here, we've got four options. We can do data setup, and in here we can turn on and off data recording, set the input format, baud rate, recording type uh, as, a, as needed. Uh, we can turn on and off the monitor RPM system, which is the system where uh, if the engine RPM is above 600, it will kill the start circuit, and if it's below 600, it will turn on the start, cir start circuit. We have the aircraft registration item here, which is for the log files so that it can uh, tie your aircraft to it, which is really useful if you have multiple. And then we have a little table down here that explains what all this means. Go back. Uh, check data feed. So we have it running right now, and you can see that it has detected the appropriate messages. We'll go back. Uh, capture data feed, this is a good test. So if I hit the start button, the system's gonna record the G3X now for 30 seconds. So we'll come back and then uh, show you what that does. Okay, 30 seconds has passed. Now we can see our data capture that CSV file. So if I just click on that, it'll ask me if I wanna view or download. I could download, but I'll just view it for now. And then if I go into landscape here on the phone, we see we've got the date, the UTC time, latitude, longitude, GPS fixes simulated, Got GPS altitude, indicated airspeed, all sorts of stuff. Um, pretty much everything to do with the engines on here. Um, and we've got some like AHARS data and all that and uh, air data on here. So this is a pretty useful little tool for uh, pretty much, I mean, anything that you can, uh, you know, have issues with. If you have engine problems, for example, we can see the EGTs. Maybe you have a cylinder that's not contributing. Uh, maybe you're overheating and you need to look at your coolant temperature. Uh, so this is a really, really powerful tool, um, and like I said, it just makes it easier versus having to download off the G3X SD card. Finally, we've got the download option here. Uh, you can see that this system has three flights on it, um, so what that would mean is I can download the last flight, I can download the last two flights, or I can download the last five flights, ten, or all, um, and then I just hit the generate button, and then it would give me a link, much the same way that the capture data feed button did up there. Uh, we can test the audio recording. Uh, this is the same as data testing. You start the recording, you play sounds for 10 seconds, and then um, it'll generate a file for you to download to test it. And then uh, with the system options, this is where you can change the Wi-Fi network. Um, you can reset the Wi-Fi network stuff. So if you change the, the name, for example, and you want to reset it back to where it was, uh, you could hit it here, or if you wanted to reset the password, uh, restart system is just a simple reboot, and then firmware update is where we will provide you with files to upload to update the software. Um, and that's it for the user interface. It's pretty simple. Um, let me quickly reboot this unit so that it's no longer detecting a key, and then I'll show you the bypass. All right, so let's talk about doing a pin bypass. So I've rebooted the IntelliKey with the key disabled, and you can see on the panel here we've got a blinking red light. So blinking red light means that the system has not found a key, is not um, authorized to start, and thus the button is dead. So um, what will happen is if you're in pin bypass mode where the key won't work even if it's available, like I just said earlier, then as soon as master comes on, you can connect to the unit and do the pin bypass. If it is looking for a key, it'll look for 15 seconds, then it'll cut over to Wi-Fi mode so that you can bypass it. So on the phone here, I'll go to IntelliKey settings, and you can see we have a button here that we didn't before called Enable Start. So we'll hit that button, and we'll type in our PIN, which uh, by default is 7600, and we'll hit Enter. Now you can see Engine Start is now active, and if we come over to the light here, it's green, and now the prop will spin. So it's very easy to do this bypass. Um, for those of uh, you who have had our V2 system, you remember you had to use the button, um, or for the V1 system, you had that key card that you had to remember also. Uh, so this is a way that you know nobody's forgetting their phones anymore, uh, so you always have a way to start the aircraft. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the new IntelliKey NG system. We're hoping to have this available towards the end of February for experimental customers, and uh, hopefully we'll have this available by Sun and Fun for certified customers, assuming that the NORSI approval goes well. 
Uh, if you're a current customer of the IntelliKey system, either the V1 or the V2, uh, and you'd like to upgrade to this and retrofit it, let us know. Uh, we'd like to work with you on that and get you moved up. And uh, if you're a, a customer that would like to purchase one of these uh, as a retrofit or as part of a system that you uh, are doing with us, um, please give us a call. And again, we'd love to work with you on that as well. Um, this system is part of a new uh, family of products that we're introducing called the IntelliLink system. Uh, so that means that there's going to be a lot of different units that will interoperate with this um, to make one nice integrated system that will help make aircraft owners' lives easier. Uh, so look for new product uh, releases in the future that are part of that uh, family of products. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, contact us through our normal channels, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.